isn't a spa treatment, and that's not why I'm in I'm a towel and a gown. I'm in a towel and a gown because I just got done doing what's called a fever bath. Uh, it is a hyperthermia treatment for uh, people who have cancer, and they use it for other things too. Um, but there is actually research that backs up that hyperthermia actually causes apoptosis in uh, cancer cells, and it increases white blood cells. It is a treatment that they do here. It's a very special treatment that takes two people. You have to be monitored. You have to be on oxygen. Uh, they have to check your uh, saturation levels, your heart rate. They did. They were able to get my temperature up to 102.9 and hold it there for quite a long time. This takes about, uh, let's see, I went in there at 3.30 and, and it's 5 o'clock now. So I was in that tub of water for a long, long time. And, um, you know, it was, and I'm just going to explain my experience. It, it, it um, was it hard? Yeah, it gets hot. It gets really hot. Uh, but um, for me, it was, it was more of a, a, a spiritually healing um moment. It, it really was. I, I started crying during it and it wasn't because it was too hot and I couldn't stand it. It was because I knew that the Lord is trying to heal me. And it isn't about just healing me physically. It's about healing my brokenness. I got, I got interrupted. Um, oh, where was I? So for me, I don't know how I can explain this, but this was more of a, it was, it was a really deep moving experience as my temperature was raising. Um, something strange happened. I, I felt, I felt a healing and it wasn't, um, physical. It wasn't physical as my fever was rising. I could feel brokenness, my brokenness, like the pieces that was left. Um, the, the damage that was left, being removed, being purged. Um, and I just started to cry. And I really cried. I mean, I, I really cried. I, the, the, the tears were just pouring down my, my face and they were wiping me with a, with a cool cloth. And she was trying to soothe me, and, and she was saying, it's okay, it's okay, um, you'll get through this. And I said, no, no, it's not, it's not the heat, it's not, it's not the fever, it's, it's just uh, God healing me, healing me emotionally, I can feel it. It was very, very powerful. And, um, and then as, as the temperature rose, they, they wrapped my head in towels and they started pouring ice water on my head and then pressing. And with every touch, it, it reminded me of when Mary was pouring the oil over Jesus's head and how loved he must have felt. It was such an intimate moment and I felt these two women and the love pouring out of them for me, you know, for me. And they were here caring for me and getting me through this and pouring this water over my head and caring for me. And I felt the deepest sense of gratitude. I've never felt gratitude like that before. It was so deep and so profound. I can only imagine what, what, Jesus felt like and, and the connection between him and Mary. So um, they got my temperature up to 102.9 and then I uh, I survived. I survived. And they held it there for, I think I was in there for an hour and a half. And then what they do is they start um, cooling you down and cooling you down and cooling you down. So... But I really wanted to share with the, that with all of you, and I have it again on Thursday. And uh, all right, um, I'm glad I could share.
but this is part of um, therapy and it, it's uh, it's 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 tough but it has been researched and it really does work it really does work all right till next time